Hello and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. My name is Ross Cochran and I'm a software consultant for the middleware management products at BMC. In this demo, I'll show you how to use MainView for WebStreamQ to manage ZOS MQ objects such as buffer pools, the coupling facility, and log manager views. MainView for WebStreamQ collects data as follows. One, in real time, which is collected every 10 seconds. Two, interval data that is accumulated from the real-time data for a period of time defined at the main view startup. Three, session data is accumulated from the real-time data over a 24-hour period. The EZQ MVS view provides a menu of ZOS resources including page sets, buffer pools, and so on for specific SSI content. Hyperlink on MVS resources to see a list of resources you can monitor. Select one of the resource types to display the view for that resource type. Let's click on Log Manager to see statistics. The LM view shows the activity and overall health of the Q Manager's Log Manager. The Log Manager manages the writing and archiving of the log records. Now let's hyperlink on a Q Manager name to see more details. The Log ID view provides detailed information about the log data sets. The current active log data sets are displayed along with the data set usage. You can see information about the status of the log including the start and the last RBA and the number of active logs and full logs. The log parameters are displayed. You can change the values for output buffer count, max RTU, max archive, and deallocate interval, but these changes are lost when the queue manager is cycled. You can also add log data sets dynamically by using the add command. This solves the problem of a queue manager that hangs when archiving is not able to offload active logs. Type zparms in the command line of any view to display the zparms view. The WebSphere MQ system parameter module CSQ zparm controls the logging, archiving, tracing, and connection environment that WebSphere MQ uses. You can use macros to change the zparms parameters. The zparms D view displays detailed information about the zparm values. By comparing the current setting to the initial value, you can determine if any of the zparms have been dynamically changed since the startup of the queue manager. The BPDD view provides a detailed statistical analysis for buffer pool ratios, counts, and rates. The BP view provides an overview of the buffer pools that are fine to the ZOS queue manager. The PSU view shows which page sets are in use. For each page set in use, this view shows the storage classes defined to it and the queues that are defined to the storage classes. Transactions using specific queues that reside on heavily used page sets can see performance degradation. You can assign queues to a specific page set by defining the storage class objects specifying a particular page set. I recommend defining the storage class parameter in the queue definition. From the PSU view, you can purge all the messages on a queue, move the messages to a new queue, or change the storage class to which a queue is defined. Here is a tip. By default, the PSU view only shows queues that have messages on them. If you purge the messages, the queue is not shown in the PSU view. The CFD view shows detailed statistical analysis of your queue manager's uses of the coupling facility. Usage information is displayed for one coupling facility structure. Counts and rates are provided for three times, real-time, interval, and session. The CF SSD view provides a detailed look at the definition and status of the coupling facility structures that are defined to WebSphere MQ. Coupling facility structures can have an impact on performance. A queue sharing group can connect up to 64 coupling facility structures, one of which must be the administration structure. Each structure can hold up to 512 queues. To maximize efficiency, delete any coupling facility structures you no longer need. Place all the queues used by an application on the same coupling facility. The thread DA view displays the active MQ threads and identifies the connection name and the attached ASID. A large number of tasks accessing a few queues can have impact on performance. Heavy I.O. against one or more page sets can create poor response times from tasks known to access the same queues. 
Thank you for your time. For more information on MainView for WebStream Q, please see the related demos box. For more information on any BMC mainframe product, please visit the URL shown. Thank you.